blessed with many unique historic sites, but there are few that compare to Tom and Beverly Witherington's remarkable establishment. Because their bed and breakfast caters not only to the living, but to the dead. There have been some reports of, of strange phenomena, ghostly whales, blood running from the walls, faucets, and some terrifying phantoms. Oh, but even though we have not had these experiences of strange phenomena ourselves, no. we did have a problem with the plumbing. My family and I stayed there in 1988, and I'll never forget it. The blood was pouring from the walls. It stained all of my shirts red. In fact, I'm wearing one of them today. Look, look at that. Between you and me, he was prone to telling stories. He'll probably tell you he used to have a younger sister, but that she was swallowed up by the house. I used to have a sister, but she was swallowed up by the house when she went down in the cellar. Then my parents, they get this crazed look in their eye and they tell me it was just my imagination. I never had a sister. I've had the most terrifying dreams since we've been staying here. Like last night, I dreamt there was a phantom in bed with me. Oh, that was me in bed with you. No, he was handsome. Okay, it's true, I admit it. It's true the house is haunted. But you know, the ghosts are more of a nuisance than anything. But are these ghosts really just harmless illusions? 14 people have died and 22 have gone missing since the Witherington's Bed and Breakfast opened its doors in 1974. We have a very aged clientele here, elderly people, retirees. It's only natural a certain amount of them would pass on while they were staying here with us. As for the number of missing people, well, you'd be surprised how many people skip out before breakfast without paying their bills. This is for Mr. and Mrs. Tiefenbach. They're dining in bed this morning. Oh, Beverly, could you bring a bucket and a mop? Mr. and Mrs. Tiefenbach, I think. Canada has many interesting attractions, but few guests will be able to forget their experience of staying at the Witherington's historic bed and breakfast. I know that the first film crew we sent there won't forget. They have yet to return. Mm -hmm.